Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Oldham County Fiscal Court. I'm Judge Executive David Vogel. Happy to have you here uh, today. This is the fourth day of September already, 2018. Uh, if you're able, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> If you have a cell phone with you today, and I suspect many of you do, uh, please turn it to off or vibrate. Uh, Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Magistrate Likens? Here. Magistrate Tice? Here. Magistrate Leslie? Magistrate Greenwell? Here. Magistrate Hounds? Here. Magistrate Eldridge? Here. Magistrate Dye? Here. Magistrate Logsdon? Here. Judge Vogel? Here. Having uh, eight of the nine members of the fiscal court present, uh, this meeting is now in session. Is there a motion to accept the agenda? So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Now our clerk, uh, Sheila Fair, will read the minutes from our last meeting, which was August 21st. August 21st, 2018. The Oldham County Fiscal Court convened at a regular meeting at 2 p.m. with Judge Executive David Vogel, County Attorney John Carter, and the following magistrates in attendance. Brent Lankins, Wayne Tice, Bob Leslie, Steve Greenwell, Chris Hounds, Kevin Eldridge, Bob Dye, and Michael Logsdon. Motion made by Magistrate Leslie, seconded by Magistrate Greenwell to approve the agenda, adding Tourism Board appointment. Motion carried unanimously. Motion made by Magistrate Leslie, seconded by Magistrate Hounds to approve the meeting minutes of August 7th. Motion carried unanimously. Public comment. Missy Camp, 8888 Highway 329, presented information to the court regarding the Brownsboro Alliance and a fundraiser for trails scheduled for August 25th. More information on their website, www.brownsboroalliance.org. Tim Kohlenberg, Pee Wee Valley, presented information to the court regarding the Oldham County Youth Football League. Season is underway for youth football and cheerleading at Wendelmore Park. More information on their Facebook page, search Oldham County Youth Football League. Westport Fire Protection District Budget and Tax Rate Presentation. Westport Fire Assistant, Fire Chief Assistant, David Pendleton, presented information relating to its ad valorem tax rate in fiscal year 19 budget and responded to questions from the court. Oldham County Chamber and Economic Development. David Bazanas, Director of Oldham County Chamber and Economic Development, presented information relating to its fiscal year 19 budget and responded to questions from the court. Oldham LaGrange Development Authority. David Bazanas presented information relating to Oldest fiscal year 19 budget and responded to questions from the court. County administration, payables. Motion made by Magistrate Hounds and seconded by Magistrate Logsdon to approve the payables. Motion carried eight to one. Magistrate Greenwell voted no. Community business, investment agreement. Motion made by Magistrate Tice and seconded by Magistrate Eldridge to authorize the judge executive to sign the investment agreement with Stockyards Bank. Motion carried unanimously. Contract agreements and resolutions. Deed of conveyance to land parcels on Kentucky 146. Motion made by Magistrate Lankins and seconded by Magistrate Tice to authorize the judge executive to sign the deeds of conveyance relating to land parcel number 1300 and parcel number 1290 on Kentucky 146. Motion carried unanimously. Litter abatement grant application. Judge Vogel announced this item will be forwarded to the next fiscal court meeting. Committee reports and recommendations. Technology committee I-71 notification signs. Motion made by Magistrate Hounds and seconded by Magistrate Lankins to proceed with the project as submitted. Motion carried seven to two. Judge Vogel and the following magistrates voted yes. Lankins, Tice, Leslie, Hounds, Eldridge, and Logsdon. Magistrates Dye and Greenwell voted no. Utilities Committee, Kentucky Wired MOU Amendment. Motion made by Magistrate Eldridge and seconded by Magistrate Hounds to authorize the judge ex executive to sign the amendment to the Memorandum of Understanding with Kentucky Wired. Motion carried unanimously. Personnel actions. Parks and Recreation. Motion made by Magistrate Leslie and seconded by Magistrate Logsdon to hire Brian Cantrell as building monitor at 740 an hour, effective August 22nd. Motion carried unanimously. Board appointments. Planning Commission. Motion made by Magistrate Leslie, seconded by Magistrate Hounds to appoint Iva Davis to the Planning Commission Board with the term to expire August 21st, 2022. Motion carried unanimously. Motion made by Magistrate Tice and seconded by Magistrate Greenwell to reappoint Kevin Mesker to the Planning Commission Board with the term to expire August 6, 2022. Motion carried unanimously. 
Tourism Board. Motion made by Magistrate Eldridge and seconded by Magistrate Tice to appoint Katie Will Nasser to the Tourism Board with a term to expire January 10th, 2020 as submitted to fulfill the unexpired term of Nancy Griffin. Motion carried unanimously. Public comment, Keith Hadley, 2009 Clark Point Drive Crestwood, owner of a local vapor shop, expressed his concerns regarding the county's indoor smoking ordinance, requesting an exemption be added to allow vape sampling in his shop. Announcements, Magistrate Lincolns stated fiscal court members attended, D attended DLG's annual Governor's Local Issues Conference last week. Magistrate Greenwell expressed his condolences to the family of Beverly McCombs, a former magistrate for District 2. Magistrate Hounds mentioned several fire stations responded to two house fires yesterday. He believes the upgraded countywide radio system was put to the test and worked well amongst the various agencies. Police will be patrolling for drivers speeding through Confederate Estates and Ashbrook. KYTC reports Ash Avenue culvert work will be at least another month. Magistrate Eldridge expressed his appreciation to the many people who serve on the county boards. Norm Shippert's contribution to discussions and negotiations regarding Kentucky Wired have been invaluable and a special thank you to Dina Crosby, who is retiring from the Oldham County Planning Commission after serving on the board for 28 years. Magistrate Dye reminds community to be mindful of elders, children, and pets on hot days to help avoid heat-related injuries and accidents. Follow posted seat speed limits in school zones. Magistrate Logsdon expressed his concern with drivers going too fast on Highway 329, especially in school zones. Construction crews are working on turn lanes and vehicles need to slow down. Judge Vogel announced LaGrange Parkway is expected to open next week. Motion made by Magistrate Dye, seconded by Magistrate Hounds to adjourn the meeting. Motion carried unanimously. The meeting adjourned at 4.24 p.m. Those are the meetings from our, in minutes from our meeting on August 21st. Is there a motion to accept? So moved. Second. Second. Are there any corrections? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Time now for public comment, the time during the meeting when anyone who's come to address the fiscal court with an item of community interest or uh, some other issue uh, is able to do so. Our first presenter here is Becky Zocklin. Thank you, Judge. I'm here today to remind uh, you members of the fiscal court and the public in general of our annual shredding event. This is um, free shredding made possible by um, the business, pa the paper predator of Shelbyville. And they uh, bring their truck out to the fairgrounds Saturday morning on the 15th of September. I always, always try to schedule it on the third Saturday in September. And we have people lining up, uh, probably starting at about eight o'clock in the morning and we go all the way through until noon. And uh, by noon, we will cut off the traffic, the flow of traffic. Now, there's such a need for shredding that we did acquire a shredder at our recycling center. And here's an example of what comes out of our shredding machine at the recycling center. And if you'll notice, it's about a quarter of an inch wide strip cut a true document destruction is a cross cut that would be about an, an eighth or less of a quarter inch in width. So I, I'm reluctant to make this a substitute for uh, true document destruction, but this service is available for free at the recycling center during manned hours, which is around from about 8.30 to 3 o'clock or before the school traffic starts. Uh, Monday through Friday. So, any questions? Right. Uh, well, thank you. And uh, I'll take my trash. If anybody <laughs> has any, uh, <laughs> seeing those strips reminds me of a scene in the movie Zero Dark Thirty where a shredder like that was used, and uh, I think about 200 kids were put together to put together all those strips reassemble them to come up with uh, some information that they needed to uh, attack some, some people. But uh, anyway, I don't think that'll happen here. I think it's, uh, I think you're pretty safe. Okay. And then what do we do with those strips after they're shredded? Oh, um, 
We take shredded paper and we uh, put them in large boxes that are called Gaylord boxes and uh, pack them down real tight along with other paper that's that brought in for recycling and they're sent to a paper recycler. We ship them in uh, semi-trailers and um, the county gets a nice return for that. Okay. So we welcome the paper coming in. We're just not quite as shredded as we'd like it to okay. be. Okay, <laughs> sure. All right, well, thank you. I might say we didn't pay for that shredder. It no, was uh, actually given to us by Shelbyville. Right. Or Shelby County, that is. All right, thank Judge, you. Judge, yes, I, I, I forgot I need to put something on the agenda. Okay. Uh, on the Moser Farm Road section, we want to um, uh, look at to uh, abandon. All right. You want to, we'll put that under uh, under item G under committee recommendations. Right. Anybody have an objection to adding that? All right. We had. Uh, yeah, I guess you were sleeping there when we asked. Yes, earlier. I was, sir. I, I'll admit that. <laughs> My fault. I know. It's, all right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed to adding that? Motion carries. All right, are there, is there anyone else come to speak about public comment? And, uh, or two public comment, and I believe we have Karen Greenwell today. Karen, <coughs> nice to see you. Good afternoon, Judge Vogel, magistrates, other honor and honorable officials, and all in attendance. Uh, Does that include from, everybody here? I hope, yes. Uh, I know everyone. you've got. Uh, you Everyone. Know, you got your spouse um, here. So I come <laughs> on behalf of City Place and the Rawlings Foundation, and I'll lower that maybe a little bit so you can see the head topic. Um, City Place is proud to present a free concert for Oldham County, and it features the Louisville Orchestra. This will be free, and we would love for all of you and others that you want to invite to come uh, to the county. We extend that invitation as well. Um, it will be Saturday, September 22nd. The concert will begin at 7 p.m. It will be on the plaza at City Place, but should it rain, we will have the concert. They will perform inside and we will live stream from one building to other with, with seating inside the venues. So we will have the concert rain or shine. So we'd like to extend that invitation to everyone, Judge, and appreciate the time to speak with you at public comment. All right, let's repeat that date is September 22nd. That's correct. And the concert begins at? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I believe that's a, a Friday night. It's a Saturday oh, it's night. It's a Saturday. It's okay. a Saturday night, yes. Okay. Well, those who were thinking back a few years ago, we had part of the Louisville Orchestra here. and Well, we had the Louisville Philharmonia, the Musicians Orchestra. So they are separate, though some, some members may be the same. They're separate. Orchestras. Right. Yeah. Well, it was one of the most tremendous nights we've ever had Thank in you. the time I've lived in this community, and I know that uh, this coming September 22nd will be an equally great evening. Well, we were pleased to welcome about 1,300 guests to that particular dedication concert, and so we're looking for at least that many to attend and extend that invitation to everyone and hope that you'll join us. Right. We appreciate Mr. Rawlings doing, putting on this concert. Thank you. And Thank it's you. the Rawlings Foundation doing it, so we do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else who would like to address the fiscal court? Seeing no one, I'll close public comment and go on to the first item on today's agenda, and that's a bid opening. Uh, this is for a uh, stream and wetland uh, restoration project that's uh, associated with LaGrange Parkway. I hope everybody's had a chance to drive LaGrange Parkway. It's been open for uh, about 10 days now or so, and uh, a week ago Friday it opened. It's a beautiful drive, and uh, a nice job was done out there. And <clears throat> this is to uh, basically do a renovation or restoration on uh, some uh, stream work out there. There's a couple of, uh, what type of streams are they, Jim? Are they uh, what are called blue line streams or are they well, other streams? Good afternoon, Jim Urban, Planning Director. This is a Pond 5 mitigation. As part of the uh, original design of the roadway, it went through an old farm pond. 
uh, that was on the property. And uh, so it's basically being uh, brought back to its kind of natural course. It's not being put back into a pond. But part of our permit uh, requires that we do mitigation and we're gonna do both the upper side of the pond and the lower side of the pond as one project. And that's what this uh, proposal is for. All right. The uh, bid here uh, for this work is uh, environmental management specialist. Is that correct? I believe it's. Uh, uh, and uh, it appears the, uh, the bid, uh, this is environmental management specialist of Cleveland, Ohio. Bid not to exceed four hundred eighty-six thousand two hundred ninety-eight dollars. Okay, uh, Judge, I'm sure that that's above what we had budgeted, but I'd like to take that uh, and uh, Red Wing. Our consultants are here. We'll review it and then come back by the end of this meeting and make a recommendation. All right. Thank you, Jim. Before you leave, I I'd want to make who's paying for this. Uh, there are two using? sources of funding. Um, it was uh, understood in the very beginning that uh, some of the mitigation would be done by OLDA and the other is done by the transportation cabinet. So they're coming from two financial sources. Thank you. Then is this the total bid to do the whole project or is this just LaGrange's part or? No, this should have a little up to date if you could. Well, this should have two. And again, I'm just seeing this bid for the first time. We put it out that there be two prices given one for the Our. upper pond and one for the lower pond. And uh, they have filled in to those two separate prices, but it's one project. So the total that Judge read when he opened it 486,000 and some change is the total. Uh, the upper pond bid in this case was 139,355. Uh, and then the lower pond was $346,943. That's the total project? Yes. And the state will be picking a part of that? That's correct. We already have an MOA, which you approved um, oh, probably six weeks ago with the state uh, that they're going to pay for a portion of the uh, project. And then the balance will be billed to Olda, split by LaGrange and Oldham County? Um, or be billed. I don't want to put words in your mouth. You tell. You know the question. Yes. You fill in the words. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> it's not just words. Need more words. Okay. Yeah. Uh, again, the problem is this is way above our budgeted amount, so we're going to have to sort it out. Rather than asking questions and it's not really the right answer, uh, let me review this and I'll come back to you by the end of the meeting and I'll have the answers for you. Asia Greenwell. Thank you, Judge. Jim, what size was this pond to begin with? Oh. Just roughly? Three acres. Three acres, mm -hmm. okay. And it drains out of uh, those apartments. Uh, it's uh, Green Valley. Green Valley. Uh, and it's been there a long time. And again, in order for the road to line up with Blakemore Lane, it went right through that pond. So uh, again, this is mitigation for of the pond having been there for a long time. I've been thinking, I realize we're not living in the 60s anymore, but you realize what it would take to construct a pond of that size today, not $486,000. Well, yeah, th again, this isn't to reconstruct I, the pond. I know, this I know. To, I'm just yeah. talking about, the, yes. you say this is well above our expected cost or budget. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness somebody's got some sense when they thought that it would cost a lot less than this. Uh, this is absolutely crazy numbers. I mean, hopefully we can get this, you know, get the job done at a lot less cost is what I'm hoping. Anyone else? Is right. that the only bid, Judge? That is the only bid. Yeah. We had a pre-bid meeting. There were seven potential bidders, and we only got one, one bid in. So well, that'll have to be backed up and uh, re-examined. And, uh, probably what our recommendation might be, yes. Pardon? That's probably what our recommendation Okay, is right. Be. Okay. Well, I don't want to rush your recommendation. So right. you, go, you go ahead and study it for a few minutes. And back away from the podium. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up, right. Uh, Judge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. To uh, uh, Manager Greenwell's comment, that is a lot of money to take the, this is basically trying to put the genie back in the bottle. We're taking this lake, this pond, lake, we want to call it, and turning it back into a stream. And uh, 
my understanding of it from being on the older board that because the pond, when it went through the pond, that the, the, the leftover remnants, the upper and lower, as they call it now, too close to the roadway. So they have to do something else. So it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy numbers, you're right. And uh, we never, I, we didn't think it would come in like this, as high as this, but it is, you know. But then again, you take this number and compare it to what the road costs, and it's, it's small. So. All right, we'll move on to the next item on the agenda today. It has to do with our every, uh, you know, biweekly bill payment situation. When you're ready, we'll pay the bills. I'd make a motion, Judge, that we pay these bills, including the one we received this morning. Uh, and I called and asked on that, and that is for six laptop-type units to go in Sheriff Police cars. Second. Any discussion on those? Or any aspect of the bills here? All right, hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Aye. Motion carries seven to one. The next item is under community business. We have the uh, first reading of a zoning map uh, amendment. Surplus property. I'm sorry, jumped ahead. We've got some damaged cars to sell. A damaged car, okay. Yes, I am asking you to surplus a 2014 Ford Police Interceptor Utility, which is a fancy name for an Explorer. This is a sheriff's vehicle. Um, it was damaged um, on August 12th or thereabouts. Uh, we're going to get $12,145 for it from insurance, and it will be sent to Kentucky Auto Auction for salvage. Judge, I'll move that we surplus that uh, vehicle. Any discussion on that? All in favor, please say aye. 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 You want opposed? Motion carries. Now we'll go on to the uh, first reading of the zoning amendment ordinance for uh, 8809 Holly Gibson Road. Jim wants to uh, discuss this for brief. I'm sorry that I didn't ask that you actually uh, strike this from the agenda. Uh, I'm talking with uh, Mr. Carter. Uh, this uh, application, although it did go to the Planning Commission, uh, they had their public hearing and recommended that it be approved. Uh, they've refined the boundaries of the zoning map amendment. It's on vacant land. It's one of those where there's CO zoning and R2 zoning, and those don't line up with the reality on the ground. Uh, so the legal description is a little different than what we understood. So we're going to actually send it back to the Planning Commission for their review. So if you don't mind just uh, striking this okay. from the agenda. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Anybody object to that? I don't think so. Next item is the uh, litter abatement uh, grant application. Becky would like to uh, tell us about that. Yes. Um, thank you, Judge. Um, once again, members of the fiscal court we are being asked to apply for our litter abatement grant it brings in approximately seventy thousand dollars we use that money to um, keep our roadsides litter free and the, the way oldham county has been historically using the grant funds is to pay nonprofit groups generally made up of young people to go and pick up litter along the sides of the roads. We, pick, we provide the um, trash bags, safety vests, and gloves, um, and assist them with directions. I, try to, I give them safety information. And um, um, we keep our roads pretty litter free. But we're also growing a new generation of anti-litter drivers. So. Um, the, all those cheerleaders and football players out there picking up litter are going to uh, raise their children not to throw litter out of their cars. So that's what we're hoping for, but <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> so all I'm, what I'm asking the fiscal court is permission to uh, have the judge sign this application that's offered uh, by the state of Kentucky, and these funds are generated from tipping fees at landfills. Right. Judge, I'll make the motion that you're allowed to sign the litter abatement grant application. 
Second. Moved and seconded that uh, sign this grant application. I think we get about seventy-five thousand a year for this, don't we? It's it's right on seventy so far. I mean that the whole county probably gets seventy thousand, but when the cities apply, they have their own grants. So the the whole county gets about seventy thousand. Okay, all right. Anybody uh, object to me signing this? All, right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Motion carries. Next item is uh, the maintenance agreement for the uh, audiovisual equipment here in the uh, fiscal court chamber. This is with Jefferson Audiovisual Services, and uh, we've been with them for uh, 20 years or however long it's been. It's been quite a while, maybe not 20, uh, probably 16, a long time. Uh, this is a contract that covers, uh, there isn't anything that we have that's left under warranty, but uh, most of the equipment, I believe, is, is under uh, the service agreement, uh, which uh, they would like uh, 50, well, I saw it in there, $5,800 for it. Where is it there? You want to see it? $5,010. Right, $5,010 for the next 12 months take care of the equipment here. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 One opposed, motion carries. Next item here has to do with the uh, release of an erosion control bond. Magistrate Greenwell. Thank you, Judge. Uh, we have, uh, the first one is an erosion control bond release for Oldham Oaks Access Road, LaGrange. Um, this almost was on the agenda last time, but we have one issue that got resolved and uh, the road committee voted to recommend uh, the erosion control bond release on this. And I'll make that motion. Second. All right, moved and seconded that we re release the erosion control bond for Oldham Oaks, uh, $9,500. That's correct. Anyone opposed? <clears throat> All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. And the second one is a uh, let's see, erosion control bond release in the amount of $20,500 for Kids Haven by Sandy. Uh, and this has been recommended for release by the county engineer and I'll make that motion. Second. Moved and seconded, discussion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. The uh, next item has to do with a, a job description uh, change. Uh, Magistrate Logston. Uh, yes. Up and introduce the new job description for assistant maintenance director. Good afternoon. Before you all is a job description for the assistant maintenance director. Um, you should be looking at one that I put on your binders that had some red writing at the bottom, adjusting the education and, and the experience. So this position is a grade 30 with a, the minimum pay at $35,503 and the maximum of $56,805. Judge, I'll make the recommendation we accept this job description for assistant maintenance director. Discussion? All right, I believe, wasn't there, okay, sorry. Just, Just wanted to point out, I saw that you put a new packet, appreciate that. But I also noticed that the salary range was taken out of the second. The reason is because the um, these job descriptions, if when we adjust the pay scale, I have to go back and change every single job description. So we've decided to take that out, and I, I left in the first one. I probably should have made that red, too. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, you note that one change on here is the reduction of a requirement for a bachelor's degree to... Uh, or equivalent experience from a four-year college to a, a two-year degree mm -hmm. from a uh, technical college or five years of equivalent experience. Any discussion on that? Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Is there anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, do we have some more items here for you, Tina? We're going to do. Um, Magistrate Dye had his. Okay. You should die. Uh, <clears throat> Judge, 
we uh, have a, there's, a, there's a small piece of uh, roadway off of Moser Farm Road. It goes to a private residence that's left over from the original roadway from some time back. The resident there has asked that we, um, uh, he wants to get that cleaned up and get it into his, um, in his title description of his property. So I'm going to ask you, the court to allow you to appoint two people to uh, make a recommend, to evaluate the situation and make the recommendation to go forward either to do this or not to do this. All right. That's a motion? Yes. All right. Uh, second. 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 Motion and second that I appoint two individuals uh, without interest in the property to uh, join with the county engineer, look at some property, make a recommendation on whether or not a road should be closed. Correct. All right. And that's at uh, Mosier Lane or Mosier it, Road? It's at across from Moser Farm, it's on Moser Farm Road across the street between uh, John Moser Way and Mountain Ash Lane on Moser Farm Road. And I believe it's next to the, uh, uh, the lake there. Okay. All right, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. And if that uh, committee makes a recommendation to close uh, that lane, uh, there will be a public hearing and anyone in the community who objects will have an opportunity to be heard by the fiscal court. Now we're on to personnel items, and uh, Ms. Schaff, you want to do those? Today we have four items on the, um, the agenda. We have the promotion of Joe Kelly to the assistant maintenance director position um, at his current rate of pay, and that will be effective tomorrow. Make that motion. We accept the promotion of Joe Kelly with no rate change. Uh, that puts his current that puts his current salary pretty close to the mid range of that position. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. We have two items at dispatch. We have a resignation of Jason Smizer, and that would be effective on September 8th. And then we have a promotion of Zach Wilt to Telecommunicator 2 at $16 an hour, effective on the 8th. Judge, I'll make that motion. Second. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. And the last one is um, a new hire at the Parks and Rec Department, a building monitor, Megan Williams, at 7.40 an hour, and that would be effective tomorrow, the 5th. Motion to um, hire Megan Williams, for Parks and Rec. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. I just have a question. Are, are we having the building monitors of these folks going back to school? Is that where we have to replace them? Or addition to? Or... It is. We had a, um, a lot of them left to go back to school. Okay. Actually graduated, and now we had to hire almost all new ones. Okay. So. Uh, might ask you, Tina, come back for just a second. Uh, as long as you're here, we want to announce that, that we have several openings in the county government. I'd like you to go through the positions if you can. Right. We have openings for um, 911 dispatcher. Um, deputy jailer positions are also um, open. We have uh, an opening in our road department for equipment operator. And, and maintenance, actually. We're hiring for a maintenance assistant in, the, in that department. That's, and all the applications can be found. The applications and job descriptions can be found online and, and submitted by email, fax, dropped off. All the information's on our website. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so we... Yeah, uh, the uh, unemployment is low. A lot of places are looking for employees. We're among those places, and uh, we're a good place to work. We have a good benefit package here, nice people to work with. Uh, an opportunity to serve the community is also valuable and rewarding in itself. So if you're a person who happens to be listening to me now on our broadcast, uh, please uh, consider if you're looking for a job or have one you'd like to improve or an opportunity to improve your position, uh, consider uh, applying with our Human Resources Department. Time now for our second public comment. If, is there anyone who's come in who would like to address the court? 
uh, with any item of community interest. All right, seeing no one, I'll close public comment and uh, go on to uh, try to conclude our business today with see if any magistrates uh, have something they would uh, like to address. Magistrate Logson. Thank you, Judge. Magistrate Dye. Yes, Judge. Um, this weekend, Apple Patch will celebrate its 30th anniversary out in Brownsboro. They're going to have their uh, get together on the Fox Hollow Farm from 1 to 5. Uh, there'll be um, barbecue, beer, wine, hay rides, face painting, inflatables, live music. It's $20 a car load, so pack in as many people you can for that one $20 bill. And $5 for wristbands at the picnic itself. So it's 1 to 5, this, this uh, uh, the 9th. And if you have any questions, I'm going to give you a phone number here if I can find it. 657-0103. That's 657-0103. Or you can go to applepatch.org. That's applepatch, one word, dot org. Be glad to see you out there. Thank you. Measured Eldridge. Nothing, sir. Measured Hounds. Just to remind folks to watch their speed in Ashbrook and Confederate Estates. Ash Avenue is still closed and will probably be until the end of the month before they get that project finished. All right. Magistrate Greenwell. Judge, I would just like to reinforce the uh, mention of the concert earlier today at uh, City Place from the Louisville Orchestra, uh, September the 22nd at 7 p.m. on a Saturday evening. Okay, great. It's going to be a great night. It will be. All right, Magistrate Tice. I have nothing, Judge. Thank you. Magistrate Likens. I just want to mention that the Building and Maintenance Committee met uh, last week with uh, our jailer, Mike Simpson, about the possibility of of uh, using inmate labor for a lot of projects. We're in a unique position here now with the amount of, of inmates we have in the county to utilize those as uh, basically free labor to do a lot of projects for the county. Uh, we also met at the uh, property that was donated to, do to us from the uh, South Oldham Lions Club. Ballersville. Ballersville, Ball 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 excuse me. Uh, about the possibility of what we can do with that property uh, to make it uh, best for the county's uses. And uh, third, I would like for the judge to uh, say a few words about the uh, signs that are being vandalized in the, in the county and costing the county thousands of dollars. So thank you. All right, thank you. Yes, I, I do want to address that for just a second. Um, I can't tell you exactly when it uh, began, but uh, somewhere in the last few uh, weeks, we've lost uh, between the 60 and 80 uh, street signs in neighborhoods. Um, the, in the Buckner area, uh, Darby Point has been hit very hard. Mayfield Farms has been hit very hard. Uh, there's sporadic theft going on across the country, across the county. Uh, our information is that someone or some group are backing up uh, trucks, uh, pickup trucks to uh, street signs and just uh, ripping the uh, the street signs out. Uh, we've recovered in not usable form, but in totally damaged condition. A uh, significant number of them were found, but the, somebody's doing it. It has to stop immediately. And I'm in the process of, I'll be uh, having further information about this soon, but uh, we're not going to tolerate any more of it. it uh, Somebody has cost us in the neighborhood, I would say, easily of uh, five to $6,000 already. Uh, it may be kids. It may be uh, someone else with a, a twisted idea of what's appropriate. Uh, but it's, it has to stop now. Uh, it's also creating a safety hazard. Anyone in, who's had their street signs removed uh, can't uh, be found by uh, neighbors, can't be found by others easily. Uh, may impair EMS or police services, uh, um, but uh, they are, most of these uh, emergency vehicles will have uh, a little bit of a, just a second, David, uh, can I see you after the meeting? <laughs> Somebody's about to leave the meeting, I don't want him to leave the building. Um, we just have to stop this, we can't, it cannot go on. We don't know why it's being done, but it uh, won't go on and uh, we're going to, uh, we're going to set up some type of reward system for information that will lead to the uh, 
stopping of this of this activity. Uh, I'm, I'm told it's a, a misdemeanor rather than a felony. Nevertheless, it's totally unacceptable. Uh, and uh, we will get to the bottom of it and we will stop it. So other than that, I'd like to mention that the uh, South Oldham Rotary Club is having its uh, annual fundraiser this Friday night, I believe, and that has to do with uh, uh, you know, sampling a lot of different libations. Uh, they have done it for a number of years, and it's always worked, been handled very professionally and uh, done very well. So uh, History Center is having uh, something uh, this Saturday morning at the History Center to uh, d dedicate and uh, use the new Dahlgren barn. I'm not sure I'm getting the name. It may have a, a different name than what I'm giving it, but it's a barn that uh, Ken and Nancy Dahlgren uh, donated uh, $250,000 to can, uh, build this historic structure on the uh, Oldham County History Center property, and they'll be having a uh, a program on Saturday morning, I believe, around beginning at 10. Also on Saturday, the uh, Masonic Lodge in LaGrange will be celebrating its 200th anniversary. Uh, 200 is a, is a long time. So uh, uh, we congratulate the Masons in uh, LaGrange for uh, their steadfast uh, presence in our community and the many things they've done over the years to, to help uh, improve our county. So congratulations to them and best wishes on their 200th uh, birthday anniversary. So with that, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Oops, not quite. Okay. <laughs> I can. Uh, I'd like to recommend that we table the decision on the uh, bid that we got in. Uh, I think we may be able to salvage a portion of the project that we need to get done before the end of the year. So if you don't mind, a motion to uh, table this until your next meeting. Right. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. It's tabled. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, and uh, best wishes to everyone. Hope you had a nice Labor Day, and we're back in business here in September. So, is there a motion to adjourn? All in favor? Aye. Talked about the numbers. Twelve hundred feet of stream restoration. Brief on that. Uh, yeah. Road encroachment permit in Grand Dale. Oh, it's absolutely. Is, this all, is that mean, finalized yet? No. So that's still out there hanging. Does it ever come to an end? Yeah. Okay. So and that's got. Get that flower in there.